Dear colleagues, it's a great honor for me to hold this short welcome message at the conference named Statistics for a Better Development in a Fast-Changing World. I really appreciate that our Hungarian colleagues actively promote the European Statistics Day by holding such an interesting event. At the Czech Statistical Office, we also commemorate this day by an infographics exhibition communicating statistics on statistics on the social media or holding a special quiz on the web. We have also organized a charity collection by our employees to support one of the non-profit organizations supporting victims and the witnesses of crime. European Statistics Day is a way of communicating value of the official statistics. The statistical community, all we are, facing many challenges resulting from the rapid changes in the technology and society. In order to sustain our important role, to preserve our value for the modern world, and in order to really provide good statistics for a better development, we should efficiently face these challenges. I would like to briefly address several of them. The first one is what to measure. The world is changing rapidly. New phenomena caused by economic globalization and growth of ICT, namely spreading use of the internet, occur very fast and become an integral part of everyday life. Some of the phenomena came and go. Others stay forever. There is an ever-growing demand to statistically capture social welfare, financial transactions, global value chains, services, information society, sustainable growth, etc. We also face an increased number of users both on national and international level calling for better quality and diverse statistical information. Many of them are fully aware of the new data sources capable to cover their needs. So here comes the second challenge. What data to use? Our society changes. Businesses don't want to lose valuable time for reporting. People don't want to share official character information. More and more data are stored in various registers. Huge amounts of so-called big data are processed by internet platforms, retailers and telecommunication operators. Technological progress triggers radical change in the basic paradigm of the statistical production process. It moves from a stovepipe model of parallel statistical surveys to a hub production type linking all kinds of data via sophisticated models. Indeed, traditional stovepipe model is best adapted to traditional phenomena. It's able to quickly reflect minor changes. It's under full control of the domain managers. Unfortunately, it imposes unnecessarily heavy burden on respondents and is not adapted to cover multidimensional issues such as globalization. The new generation statistical office is more and more like a data hub, taking over and making use of various data sources. Statistical surveys become rather a supplement in this case. The great deal of work of statisticians will consist in data mining, linking and modeling. This opens more space to a better consistency of statistical indicators that traditional stovepipe production cannot offer. It also enables to present statistical data in consistent stories supported by relevant figures. This really progressive idea of stories leads us to the final question on how to communicate our outputs to users. We need to understand it's impossible to force the world to adapt to our terminology and classifications. It's statisticians who need to engage more and ensure that statistics are understood correctly and used in the right context. We have the necessary domain knowledge, we know our models. We just need to learn how to communicate them. Official statistics needs to be understandable and easy to use.
We learn to use social networks, multimedia, interactive tables, infographics, mobile platforms, etc. It's necessary condition for a statistical office to compete on the information market. Today, many private and public data sources of diverse quality are freely available. Not all the users differentiate between good quality official statistics and less good quality statistics. Our goal is to help users distinguish between those. The new communication strategy means movement from a traditional pool concept, where statistics is released in databases for public use, to a new push concept of providing tailored statistics to different users' groups. We need to find an elegant way of preventing non-professional users from being confused when they have to make many complicated choices between data they need. On the other hand, we need to stay serious. Uh, we have our long-term reputation of providing independent, factual and credible statistics. We need to sustain such a role of a stabilizing element in the rapidly changing society. Users should be still able to rely on our independence and objectivity. So it's absolutely necessary to communicate the true value of official statistics proactively. I think many presentations today will deal with the issues on what to measure, what data to use and how to communicate the results. So maybe we will get closer to the answers. I wish you a fruitful day full of new insights and interesting ideas. Thank you for your attention.